Hey, what's going on YouTube? What's happening, guys? You guys have tuned into Rules for Rebels. Now, uh, you guys know if you watch the channel in recent weeks and recent months, we've been talking a lot about the labor shortages, supply chain shortages, and I happen to see this article from CNBC uh, yesterday, and it's titled, Costco Brings Back Purchase Limits on Toilet Paper, Cleaning Supplies, and More. So that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. I don't know about you guys, I've definitely noticed uh, supply chain issues. I was literally just in a Walgreens store uh, two minutes ago. I was, I was going to grab one of those little uh, Starbucks uh, espresso shot drinks or whatever, and literally the entire drink section uh, at Walgreens is completely cleared out. Uh, I actually wound up getting it. I was pleasantly surprised. There's these uh, little coffees called La Colombe uh, coffee or La Colombia coffee, something like that. It's a vanilla draft latte. Uh, foamy nitrous infused milk and cold brew and uh, it was actually pretty tasty so I guess in this case the uh, supply chain shortage got me to try a new product another thing I've noticed at a lot of grocery stores and just stores in general uh, even if one product is, is out of stock rather than have a kind of a glaring open empty space on the shelf they'll put overstock from another product next to it there I, I think they don't want people seeing like these empty shelves. If we go back to the very, very beginning of the pandemic, uh, I'm sure you guys remember like it was yesterday, I do, uh, when the toilet paper run started happening. I was uh, at a client's office and somebody had mentioned everybody was going crazy on toilet paper. And just a couple hours later on my way home, I was like, oh, I better, you know, I better stop and grab some toilet paper. Man, I went to like four different stores, couldn't find toilet paper. I thought I was being clever. I actually went to uh, like a Staples and an Office Depot. Obviously the office supply stores uh, sell cleaning supplies and toilet paper and paper towels and things like that. And I thought, well, you know, probably a lot of people aren't gonna think to go to Staples to get their toilet paper. Sure enough, they were cleared out as well. I remember I wound up going to the dollar store and uh, literally all they had left was like cheap shitty napkins and I wound up buying a pack of napkins. Um, and I remember the lady checking me out at dollar store was like, oh no, you should get these other napkins. You can rip them into fours and use them four times. If I had used any of these napkins, I would have wound up with shit all over my fingers. <laughs> my my, uh, my girlfriend jokes with me that like I used the biggest wad of toilet paper and uh, she's probably not wrong. I went up clogging the toilet like every morning. Uh, but yeah, fortunately my, my girlfriend's brother-in-law had picked up a bunch of toilet paper for us. So I never really had to resort to using those napkins. You know, that whole toilet paper shortage was kind of artificial and fake. Uh, not that it didn't happen, but there really wasn't a shortage of toilet paper. Um, and I was thinking about this. Here's kind of an example of what would happen. Let's imagine that a store like Target keeps, I don't know, we'll say 100 boxes of condoms on the shelf. Now, they have 300 customers who buy condoms, but the fact that they only have 100 condoms on the shelf or in the store isn't an issue because 300 people don't all come into the store on one day to get condoms, right? Like, you know, so many people come in on Monday, so many people come in on Tuesdays. One guy stocked up a bunch last time, so... Uh, you know, he doesn't need some for a couple weeks. Another guy, you know, broke up with his girlfriend. He doesn't need condoms. Um, but the problem would be if everybody decides to rush out and buy condoms on one day, you got 300 people coming to buy 100 condoms, and obviously there's going to be a shortage. I think what happened to the toilet paper and paper towels in particular, think about how much space toilet paper and paper towels take up on a shelf, uh, right? Like, think about, like, how many bottles of Tapatio you could put on a shelf versus how many uh, you know cases of toilet paper, right? You could have literally like thousands of bottles of Tapatio sauce in the same space that like, you know, four rolls of toilet paper would take up. So visually, when somebody goes in a store, even if only eight, eight uh, cases of toilet paper have been purchased, it winds up looking like they're totally cleaned out and then everybody starts to freak out and everybody starts to buy more. I'll be curious to see what this uh, fall and winter look like with supply chain shortages. Uh, think about how bad things were back at the beginning of the pandemic. And that's actually before we had a lot of the labor shortage problems that we have now. Now, you know, we have all the supply chain disruptions from the past year and a half, plus nobody's working, plus truck drivers are, uh, you know, there's a truck driver shortage, plus there's all other types of logistical issues. Like, I, I think it could wind up being a complete shit show. We're all here, we're already hearing Q4 is going to be kind of a disaster in terms of uh, you know Christmas shopping and getting presents and getting gifts and things like that. Not only is there supply chain shortages of the actual items, uh, but again, the whole logistics behind supply chains uh, you know aren't in a place where they can keep up. 
FedEx and UPS have both said they're not going to be able to meet demand this holiday season. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting to see how things go. Uh, I've noticed in Walmart for months, the entire stores are just fucking cleaned out. And uh, I have kind of a shitty ghetto Walmart near me, so I thought that might be it. But I've been to a couple other Walmarts. Things were kind of the same. I saw Meyer recently is putting up signs saying things are out of stock. I'm noticing certain products out of stock at, uh, at Aldi, another place that I, I frequently shop at. And so it's interesting that Costco is limiting purchases on toilet paper, water, cleaning supplies, etc. Uh, not sure if they're already experiencing supply shortages or if they're anticipating supply shortages and kind of want to stop that by limiting people, by limiting how much people can buy. I actually think this might have the opposite effect. I think people are going to be like, well, what, why will Costco not let me buy 20 cases of water? Why, why will Costco not let me walk out with three, you know, three shopping carts full of toilet paper? Oh shit, something's, something's going down. I better stock up. And now what you're going to have is like a husband, wife, and their teenage kid all go into Costco. And instead of checking out as a group, they all check out separately and each one buys up to the limit. You know, two cases of water, uh, two cases of toilet paper, two cases of paper towels. Um, I also at the beginning of this video wanted to mention, I know a lot of you guys run businesses, you sell online, uh, you buy stuff from Alibaba or AliExpress or uh, various different wholesale outlets. Are you having problems with supply chain shortages in getting your items? Has there been a run on your item? Has your supplier told you that there are raw ingredient sh shortages or raw material shortages and they're unable to make your items? Uh, you know, I, I still sell online a lot. Uh, one of my suppliers is in Africa, so I don't think they're seeing the same rush as, uh, say, China. And the items that I'm selling are, I don't know if you want to call them like collectible or crafts, but it's kind of a unique item. Uh, it's not something that I necessarily expect there to be runs on. Uh, so I haven't had any really issues in that regard. Some of the other items I'm selling right now are like kind of clothing and accessory items. Uh, so I really haven't experienced any problems, but I'd be curious to hear if you guys have or not. Uh, without further ado, let's hop on into this article from CNBC. Costco brings back purchase limits on toilet paper, cleaning supplies, and more. Costco Chief Financial Officer Richard Galante said the retailer is bringing back purchase limits on household essentials such as toilet paper, bottled water, and cleaning supplies. The membership-only warehouse chain said it wants to make sure those items stay on its shelves as it copes with supply chain shortages uh, from shipping delays to truck driver shortages. The retailer saw strong demand for home furnishing, sporting goods, and jewelry in the fiscal fourth quarter, even selling some rings in a $100,000 range, Galante said. Chief Financial Officer Richard Galante said Thursday the company wants to make sure its essential items are at its stores, even as shipping delays and truck driver shortages make it hard to keep them on shelves. During an earnings call, he said the retailer is putting some purchase limitations on key items. Those items include toilet paper, paper towels, bottled water, and high-demand cleaning products. He did not specify how many of each item customers will be able to buy. The new product limits are prompted by different challenges than the ones in the earlier phase of the pandemic when stores saw unusually high demand for paper products and antibacterial wipes as customers stockpiled those goods. A year ago, there was a shortage of merchandise, Galante said. Now they've got plenty of merchandise, but there's two, a two or three week delay on getting it delivered because there's a limit on short term changes to the trucking and delivery needs of the suppliers. So it's really all over the board. The membership only warehouse chain beat analyst expectations on Thursday for the fiscal fourth quarter, which ended August 29th. Yet Galante said the pandemic cha has challenged Costco's supply chain and increased its cost as it has other retailers. And we've talked about in recent videos how, uh, you know, shrinkflation is all over the place, uh, but it's also evident at Costco. You know, Costco rolls of toilet paper and paper towels, you're getting less in each roll than you were before. So instead of raising prices, they just give you less and hope that it's, it's less obvious or that you won't notice. Costco is placing orders to get what it needs, Galante said. He added the company has chartered three ocean vessels for the next year to transport containers between Asia and the U.S. and Canada. Each ship can, each ship can carry 800 to 1,000 containers at a time, he said. As early as August, there had been some social media posts about product limitations for some of its private label products. This week, the retailer warned some customers that they may see delays when they placed an order for toilet, an order online for toilet paper, a household item that has become, become synonymous with stockpiling. That delay was first reported by Fox Business, which saw it mentioned in a purchase order confirmation email. 
And, uh, you know, I know back when the toilet paper shortage first happened, a lot of people were talking about getting bidets. Uh, I've always been curious about bidets, and I actually got one a couple months ago. Uh, your butthole will be so much cleaner, and your butthole will thank you. Highly recommend getting a, uh, a bidet, and uh, then you don't need to worry about uh, toilet paper shortages. Um, and I know a lot of times when people think about bidets, they think about these like separate toilets that are next to the toilet. Uh, you can get these ones. They, they were kind of a, a hot, you know, online e-commerce item for a while. Uh, you can order them off AliExpress, Alibaba. You can think you can get them at Bed Bath and Beyond. They hook right up to the water supply in your toilet. You're not having to put this, you know, whole second toilet in. Uh, but they're pretty awesome. Galante said on Thursday that demand was strong for jewelry, home furnishings, pharmacy, and sporting goods during the latest three-month period. He said the retailer, best known for big and bulky, sold a couple of rings in the $100,000 range. Costco shares were up less than 1% on Thursday evening. At the market's close, the stock had, had gained 20% this year, bringing its market value to $200.16 billion. So uh, that's all we got for you guys today. Again, if you guys are e-commerce sellers, if you own a business, let me know if you are seeing supply chain shortages in your own business. And for those of you guys who uh, shop at stores and buy things, which is pretty much everybody, uh, let me know you know what area of the country you're in, what stores you shop at, and what type of uh, supply chain issues you're seeing. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button down below, ring the bell, all that good YouTube jazz, and I will catch you guys on the next one.